Okay, can you tell me exactly how many tasks, to-do apps, and reminder apps are on the app, Apple App Store? Probably can't, because there's a bunch of them, right? So this is the reason why I, and I think you should, use Apple Reminders, since not only is it built into all your devices, but since there's so many apps out there for tasks and to-do lists, I think Apple Reminders is your best free choice and it works seamlessly amongst all the Apple devices. So the reasons that I personally use Apple Reminders is for one, I do a lot of reminder stuff with my watch, with the Apple Watch. So I want something that can work seamlessly with the Apple Watch, something that I can easily check off, easily update, and Apple Reminders seems to be that choice. I've tried a lot of third-party apps for tasks. In fact, I've almost tried them all, basically. And a lot have been pretty good, been okay. Some have synced pretty well, some synced it not at all. And I've gone through the, the cycle of installing, deleting, installing, deleting, installing, deleting, over and over and over and over. There hasn't really been a worthwhile task or to-do app that I have found except Apple's own reminders. Now, I understand Apple Reminders app is still kind of basic. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but you gotta think, do you really need all those bells and whistles? For me personally, I use mostly my calendar, especially for a lot of repeat reminders or repeat events. And I use the Apple Reminders for all the other events. In other words, let's say I've got to do a task every week. I can put that in a calendar, set it for like a 15 minute span. But then I have something that I need to pick up or something I need to do. I put that in Apple Reminders. So now I'm using both the calendar and Apple Reminders together. And I'm not having to worry about having repeat reminders in two separate areas. And so that's why I think if you want something that is free, doesn't cost you anything, works, reliable, or let's say semi-reliable. It, it has its little quirks here and there. But I know Apple's improving it. But it is more reliable than third-party apps then Apple Reminders is gonna be your key. You can also use it with Siri, so that is another benefit. It does work very well, so you don't even have to use to type in your reminders, just use your voice and create all the reminders you want. In fact, one I love the most with the Apple Reminders is you can actually tell Siri to remind you when you arrive somewhere or when you come back home to do something, and it'll automatically set the location and everything for you. So Apple Reminders is very good, it is improving, every update is giving it more and more new features, and it works across all your devices. In fact, I've been testing it with iOS 15, I've been testing it between my iPhone 12 Pro Max that I'm having in beta, and my iPhone 13 Pro Max, and it does sync very fast and very well now. So, if you haven't been using Apple Reminders, now might be your chance. If you want more information on that, you like more videos like this, don't forget, give it a thumbs up, helps the channel out. And I will come back and I will give you a lot more information. So I thank you for stopping by and watching.